Hello, in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to create a new Cocos project using the Cocos console. Doesn't matter whether you've got Cocos 2DX or Cocos 2DJS, though I will be using Cocos 2DX, the process is exactly the same. Plus, also, even though I'm doing it on the Mac, again, the process is the same. On Windows, you'll obviously just be using Command Prompt. And yeah, apart from that, in terms of setting up, we already have videos for that. It's just because Cocos console is going to become compulsory. So we're going to create a series just based around the console. So what you want to do is open up terminal or command prompt, depending on what platform you're on. And once you lock them, once you've all set it up to create a new project, you do Cocos new, you name your project, your game. So I'm just going to call it game one. Then you do dash P and dash P is your package name. So I'm going to put sonar.learning.game1. Then next you do dash L and this is the language. So with Cocos 2DX you have C++ and Lua. With Cocos 2DJS you obviously have JavaScript. So it would be CPP for C++, uh, Lua for Lua and JS for JS. I'm just going to do CPP. Then the final parameter I'm gonna input is dash D. This is optional, but I always use it because it allows you to specify the output directory, basically where your project will be generated. I'm simply gonna put it on my desktop. So users, sonar systems. Again, what directory I'm putting here will most likely be different for you simply because you've got a different username. So I'm just gonna click enter. And as you can see, it started loading up right here and it's just running the command news copying a template and it's all done now so it's that simple to create a new game a new project using the cocos console if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php don't worry there'll be a link in the description to that and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day